It's week two of the National Football League, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Saints and the Cowboys, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the heart of Texas and the spectacular AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. It's week two of this NFL season. A couple of teams feeling good, Greg. Victory in the season opener, and that gives you just great momentum off the schneid to start the season. Now, what's ahead for these guys? Going into week one was always kind of an interesting deal, Mike, and I always felt as a player, you prepare. about set for football the crowd is definitely ready so are we off we go on EA Sports and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line Cowboys coming out as usual it's Dak Prescott leading the way led the NFL in touchdown passes Greg a season ago already his ninth year at It's not often that you can win by multiple scores in the NFL. So you got to imagine they're coming into this week's game with a lot of confidence. They were able to put together a pretty well-rounded performance in all three phases last week. So again, can they build off that? Can they continue to grow as an entire team? Because offense, defense, and solid contribution from their special teams, they showed last week and going forward, this is going to be a hard team to beat. He's taking down, but just shy of midfield. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and... That was a good one there. They run on the jet sweep, and he will have the first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains. On the play fake, Dak. And they get to him and finally bring him down. It will go down as a sack. Second down, Prescott. Catch is made there on the left side by Cooks. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Seventh play of this opening drive, and here's third down. From the shotgun, it's Dak. Got a man, that's Tober. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. I really like the rhythm that this offense has found. I mean, that third down, that wasn't a layup by any means, but they made it look easy. Everybody was exactly where they needed to be. The quarterback did a nice job working through his progression, saying, okay, I understand this is zone defense. I understand where the limitations of the coverage are. I'm going to get to that spot on the field as fast as I can, deliver the ball, pick up the first down. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and man, they were good. And he will get into the end zone. C.P. Lab. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's his second touchdown of the year. And they get the first points of the game. What a way to start it, Greg. You get the ball. It's what you want to do. Settle into this game on top 6-0. Mike, how often do we have coaches tell us the importance of playing with the lead? Well, they come take the ball right away on the first drive, all the way down there and strike first. And now the rest of the way, let's see how it plays out. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This returnable from the four. 
Now an opening past the 30. And not much doing on this return. Good coverage. We're going to stop him in his tracks right at the 15-yard line. The Saints coming out, and the veteran leads them. It's their quarterback, Derek Carr, nine years with the Raiders. Now year two with the Saints. Greg, for a man who's now 33 years old. One thing that was pretty evident when we had a chance to talk to him, Mike, is this guy, he just wasn't satisfied with his individual performance. They came away with the win, and that was great. But one area that seems to continue to hold him back is that he's predetermining where he goes with the ball. Not only did it lead to the two interceptions, but it leads to some missed opportunities as the play unfolds. He could have had more touchdown output if he would have just gotten off that first read and found the open man. He got away with it last week, he doesn't want to make a habit of trying to get away with it every week. He needs to clean that up, especially if he wants to come away with a win here today. Here now, third and five. From the shotgun, it's caught. And that is incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Now, man, back for his second go around the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. Not much space developing. He'll get to about the 14 this time. Here's a second and nine. They'll stick with Elliott. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard. That's it. They need to get this to the 23. Here's third down. A shotgun snap for Prescott. That's complete to Elliott. Nice job there defensively to keep him in front of the marker. It's going to bring up fourth down. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. And it'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. The Saints offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Carr working out of the gun. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. At least close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Shahid in motion. Second down, Carr. Left side into the hands of Olave. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. Car now to throw on first down. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. 
hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. That is going to be Hall in. He's got it. Jawan Johnson. Touchdown, New Orleans. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Groupie able to add the extra point. The Saints will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. Now a return coming from the 14. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field all even here in this opening quarter and the drive will begin with first down operating from the gun here's Dak and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down the toss here to Zeke He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. That's Chase Young off the edge with the tackle. What can they do here on third down and seven? Now Prescott. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Now out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. They'll start out first down and 10. to throw going left side down the field and it's complete and he's out of bounds but they're going to spot this inside the 25 so a big one there to start the drive 56 yards they really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch Mike and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. On first down, Carr. That is brought in at the 10. And he will score. Jawan Johnson, touchdown Saints. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. Groupie able to add the extra point, and the Saints will move out to a 14-7 lead. We are... The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Short kick taken at the 17. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The Cowboys offense ready to take over once again. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. On play action, here's Dak. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. Just a great individual effort. And when you have a guy that can win his one-on-one -on -one matchups, now it becomes less about who's blocking him and how do we block him. Expect the offense to make some adjustments because right now, one-on-one, -on -one, this defender is going to win every time. 
That one downfield for Cooks. That one broken up. It's incomplete. All over him down the field. It'll set up third down. To throw is Dak. He's going to look downfield once again. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. As this drive went backwards, he's on to kick it away. The Saints offense ready to come back out for this next possession. The next drive about to start. We'll remind you what's coming up here in week two. A couple of good ones to look forward to. Two good young quarterbacks going at it later tonight in Houston. The Bears and Texans at NRG Stadium. And then tomorrow, Monday Night Football, as the New Look Falcons head to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles. Kick off there, 8-15, Easter time. Big gain of 27 yards. What a way to open the drop. Mike, you know what we used to call those plays? No, 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 yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. On first and ten, Cox. The man down the field, it's Olave. That's another quick first down, and that's a 25-yard gain. Olave is the motion man. First down throw for Cox. His pass taken in by Shahid. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Ball down to the 16-yard line. And it's first and 10. Carr now. Got his man at the 6. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal coming up. as They try to finish off this drive with six points. In motion is Hill. They'll run here with Kamara. Powering forward. He's in. Alvin Kamara. Touchdown, New Orleans. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This one fielded at the 15. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The Cowboys offense ready to see what they can do. They'll begin with first and 10. Dak to throw. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's Prescott. Now he'll run it. A first down on the scramble. A gain of 16. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. He'll take this forward for about a yard at best. Mario Davis there on the play. Here's second and nine. Prescott now. His pass right side taken in by Cook. He's taken down just shy of the 10. 
This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. He is in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Dallas. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. From the six, here comes a return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Saints offense and Derek Carr set to take over once more. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The right side to Olave. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. And he's got another one. Jawan Johnson, touchdown Saints. Three touchdowns for the game, his first three of the year this is turning into a monster game let's keep an eye on this three touchdown catches alone in the first half could be a record-setting game on comes blake groupie for the pat the kick is good the saints have doubled their advantage it is now a 28-14 game. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. They play it short, take it at the 15-yard line. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Cowboys offense and veteran Ezekiel Elliott making their way back out. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott, and he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. You can score on these guys. Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it, and he'll work his way forward to about the 30-yard line. They need eight as they come up for third down. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. On comes the punter now, as he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. To return, it's Shaheed. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Saints offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. Carr. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. The motion there, tight end Johnson. And it's a reception for Taysom Hill. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. 
And this is why most teams might decide to take the ball first after the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four. At the end of the first half, you can use your timeout. You can use some strategy to steal an extra possession. If they're able now to go down and come away with points, they'll have a chance to double it up again right after the halftime break. Right back to Hill. He's got it again. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Now, second down throw from Carr. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Saints going to use their second timeout as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And the shotgun. It's caught. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Carr working out of the gun. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. Micah Parsons, too tough to stop, gets in to bring him down. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. Here comes Blake Groupie for this field goal try. Officially, it's a 36-yard attempt. Groupie's kick is good. And the Saints are going to tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So we hit halftime with the visiting Saints in front. As we'll send you over to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman standing by. He's got the EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike. For the weary, let's get right back to it. Quarter number three set to begin. This will be returned from the six. Good return, but he pays the price at the end. Picked up and thrown down. The visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And as we take you through some of the highlights so far, you're going to see a lot of... They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Back is Carr. He'll dump this down to the fullback coming out of the backfield. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Here's first and 10. Now Carr. Now a short one caught by the tight end Johnson. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of one. Third and six. He's got his man. It's Hill. 15 yards through the air. First down, New Orleans. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. 
Carr now to throw on first down. Here's second and three to go. Off the play fake. Here's Carr. The second down throw is incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. He's going nowhere. That call, not the right one. It's going to bring up fourth down. You can just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Saints will extend their third quarter lead. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Cowboys offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10. To start this on the ground with Elliott. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. Here's a second and six. A shotgun snap for Prescott. That's to Ferguson once again. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Dak. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. He'll get this complete. It's Lamb again. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Brings up second and two. Here's Elliott. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two. It's a loss of two. Brings up third and four. Third and short. Prescott. To the back of the end zone. He's got it. Jalen Tolbert. Touchdown, Cowboys. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Aubrey, good with the extra point. The Cowboys are able to edge a bit closer. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the seven. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart that is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. He'll look middle here. It's caught by Hill. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. 
They'll run. It's Kamara. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Here's third and two. Hard to throw. He's going to have the first down and then some. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. This guy's really starting to roll now. I mean, his involvement in the passing game just continues to pick up. And until the defense identifies him as a pass threat, I expect this quarterback to keep looking his way. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Here's Camaro. He's got space inside the 25. What a run. He brings it to the red zone. Taken down inside the 20-yard line. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. On first down, they'll stay with Kamara on the ground. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Far now. He's got it inside the five. And he will score again. Jawan Johnson. Touchdown, New Orleans. Make it four touchdowns for him on the afternoon. So that one, his fourth touchdown catch of the game. That is one behind the single game NFL record. After the touchdown, Carr and the Saints going for two. The Saints will wind up on a six-point conversion. He'll drop to throw. And he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Cavante Turpin on the return. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. They'll run Zeke up the middle. He'll manage only a couple. Colin Saunders getting in there to make the tackle. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and eight. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. That's complete to Elliott. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Now Prescott. Pass completed right side to Ferguson. Last play got 15. This one gains 15. And another first down. To throw is Dak. Over the middle to his tight end, Ferguson. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. They'll throw again, Dak. The open man is Tolbert. And he's going to be taken down. This is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast, so they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's first and goal. From the one, second and goal. 
They'll run. Here's Elliott. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit. And now it is third and goal. It's now third and goal. Prescott now to the end zone there, but it is incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. And now it's fourth and goal. They'll give it to Elliott. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Dallas. That's his second touchdown of the game. He's doubled his season output. He now has four. The extra point by Aubrey is good. And the Cowboys are able to cut into the deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense about ready to take over once more. And as we look back at some of the highlights of this one, Greg, definitely a lot to show from the passing game. Yeah, and as good as the offense feels about their passing game, I think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got a lot of learning to do because you just get burned time and time again. You'd think at some point you'd make an adjustment and make a correction. So at this point, they've given up four touchdown passes. You're just not going to win a lot of games in the NFL giving up that production in one phase of the game. That's deep for Olave. And he's going to take this one all the way. 73 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. And another score in another good performance after winning the opener on their way to 2-0. Mike, you can't be 2-0 without being 1-0. And for them to be able to continue to string early wins together in the first part of the year, this is the start that every team dreams about. This is what you work for all offseason long to start your season and build some early momentum. Gives you a lot of flexibility and wiggle room as the rest of this season plays on. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here's Turpin. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football. Things not looking good. But see if they can get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Prescott. Hooks able to pull that one in. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And he gets run out of bounds. A short pickup, but it's good enough for a first down. That's good for a Cowboys. Dak to throw. Checking it down. This one is caught. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. He'll throw it left and has his running back. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Again, Prescott to the air. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. To the air again, Prescott. That's into the hands of the veteran Cooks. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Short throw caught by Ferguson. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. That's good for a Cowboys. Prescott again. 
And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Now a second down throw for Prescott. Pass brought in by Ferguson. On third down, Prescott. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also gives some credit to the back. To the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adiba. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. So Chris Olave and the rest of the Saints offense getting ready for their next possession. And it would appear they're on their way to a 2-0 start as they begin things here with first and ten in this fourth quarter. Shahid in motion. On first down, they'll start out with Kamara. Well, he shows you the elusiveness getting out of one tackle, but not the other. Fortunate, really, to get back to the line of scrimmage on that play. They'll go again here with Kamara. And they're going to mark him down right at the 30-yard line. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. They're going to go right back to Kamara. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. So this one a win for the visiting Saints. They get the victory here away from home to run their early season record to 2-0. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.